Hi everyone, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to share with you some easy coloring with Distress Inks. But before I get into the main video, I do want to update you guys on a brand new release that Crackerbox and Suzy Stamps is doing right now. I know that so many of us are making cards for first responders, the nurses, and the doctors out there, and they have put out this new release for images for your cards for them. There's also some really great sentiments in there. And April and May, these stamps are 20% off. I will leave a link to where you can find these down below. There's no code needed. They're just automatically 20% off. So also, they are having a new release every week this month to celebrate their anniversary month. So these are some of the images from those new releases so far. I'm gonna be using this little nut first of all and doing some distressing coloring. For quick coloring, this is my absolute most favorite way to color. The first thing I need to do is create a mask. But what I need to do is actually just create a mask of the outline of this. So what I like to do is stamp this onto an oversized post-it note. Anything with a little stick to it is great, or you can just use regular computer paper, any kind of thin paper. Then stamp it down. Doesn't have to be perfect, just get it stamped down. And use your craft knife or scissors and just trim out the inside. You don't want to cut into the sides of this paper at all. Just trim out where that little nut is on your paper or whatever image you're using. Simple shapes work really well for quick coloring with this, but you can do intricate shapes as well. Just know they're going to take a little bit longer to cut out with your craft knife. So once that's cut out, I have my mask ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and stamp my background. I'm using this nut over and over to repeat a quick background directly onto this card base. The card base is a white A2 top folding card base, so four and a quarter by five and a half. It's folded right at the top there. I wanted to use a really crisp black ink to stamp this down um, because it does have a lot of detail in it. So I'm using the VersaFine Clear in Nocturne to stamp this down. Now this is a pigment ink. It's a fast drying pigment ink, so you don't have to wait too long to uh, do your ink blending over the top of it. Just be sure it's nice and dry before you go in and ink blend. Then it's time to start coloring. So what I do is take that little mask that I made with my post-it note Put it down over your image, make sure it's nice and aligned, all the edges are lined up, and then I just use my Distress Inks and my Mini Ink Blending Tool to color it in. You don't have to worry about going outside the lines or anything or staying inside the lines. That mask is going to do all the work for you. Now you can use one color, you can use two colors, however many you want to use here. I did try and do a little bit of blending here, but really it didn't show up on this small of an image with all the detail on it. So what I decided to do was actually just use brush corduroy on all of these little nut images. To be honest, the stamp does all the work of adding the shadows with this image just by doing the stamp itself. So just adding that little bit of color with the brush corduroy and my mini ink blending tool was enough. Now the thing with this coloring technique is you only need one mask to do this. You don't need to cut a lot of them. You can just keep placing that mat, the mask down over and over and just moving it around. So that really helps with the quickness. Also, just using your little mini ink blending tool and sponging that color on is so fast. You don't have to worry about switching out markers or colored pencils, uh, taking caps on and off or sharpening or anything like that. All you need to do is sponge on the color. If you don't have a mini ink blending tool, you can also just use a little makeup sponge and any ink you have on hand to get that color in. This is just a really fast way to mass produce as well and get that color on your card quickly and do some nice coloring. It's also really great for beginner card makers if you don't have a ton of coloring mediums already. This is an easy way to add some color to those stamped images. Now once it's all done, here is a close-up look at those little peanuts all colored in. They look like they were colored in with markers or colored pencil, but really it was just some ink and a sponge. 
Now to finish this card off, I'm using some more images from the new release. I'm using this um, woman with her little cup of tea or coffee there with a smirk on her face. I love her for the sassy sentiments or the snarky sentiments that Cracker Box and Susie Stamps is known for. What I did was I am actually stamping her down, but the image moved while it was on my Misty. I need to clean my Misty lid. Whenever you're using clean stamps, you want to make sure that your acrylic black or the lid of your Misty is really clean to get that good clean um, going on between the stamp and the tool. So I went ahead and just repositioned, lifted it back up, made sure I gave it a good press that time, and then inked it up again and stamped it down. Really simple fix to my mistake there. Now, to stamp this sentiment, I'm using the You're Nuts, But I Love You Anyways snarky sentiment from the new release. But on the front of the card, I just want the You're Nuts. So I'm going to line that up over her head. And all of underneath that You're Nuts, I'm going to mask off with some painter's tape. You can use any tape. You can use post-it notes. Anything to stick to the bottom of that that's really thin and will mask off those areas. Then I ink up just the Your Nuts and remove that masking tape underneath. That kept all of those lower words clean. If you did happen to get any ink, just use your finger or a paper towel to wipe them off and then stamp it down. So there I have the Your Nuts on the front for my sentiment. And here is a closer look at that. You can see it lined up really well, nothing stamped underneath it. Then you wanna clean that stamp off really, really well and make sure that no ink is left over. Then take your masking tape once you've aligned it wherever you want the second part of the sentiment to go if you wanna use it. I'm using it on the inside of the card base here. And then mask off the top of that with painter's tape. Ink up the bottom of your stamp, remove that painter's tape, and stamp down the remaining portion of your sentiment that you want to use. So mine is going to say your nuts on the outside, and then on the inside, but I love you anyways, which I love to kind of coordinate my sentiment to finish off on the inside of my cards. So there is a closer look at that. As long as you get that stamp clean, it should end up looking perfect. Now to add a little color to my stamped image, I'm bringing in my my pan pastels. Um, these are great for quick coloring too. I'm using a q-tip just to dot a little bit of pink onto her cheeks. So I didn't want to add a ton of color to her but I also didn't want to leave her just black and white. So I thought just adding that little bit of tint to her cheeks really helped with kind of the 60s 70s vibe that this is giving off and then also I added just the tiniest bit of blue also with a q-tip to her eyes for a little bit of blue eyeshadow and that's the only color I added but adding that little pop of color just helps to draw your eye to that image that's on the front of the card now to finish this card off I matted that image with a black cardstock mat and then mounted that onto the card base with foam adhesive to finish this off. I hope you guys enjoyed a look at some quick coloring as well as the new release from Cracker Box and Suzy Stamps. I'm going to leave the links to those down below if you want to shop for those. That's going to do it for me today. Thanks so much for watching and happy crafting!